Hi, I'm Mike. This is my story. My mom and dad were both Christians. Um, my uh, my mom convinced my dad to come over from the Catholic faith. She was a Lutheran um, and had the, uh, the great blessing to also go to Lutheran schools growing up, um, starting in elementary school and then high school. Um, so I feel like I've been um, in the Word of God and amongst Christian people really from really from my baptism. So I've had a, a journey all my life with Christ. You know, when I think about transformation, I often think about uh, that sort of uh, saved moment that a, an adult person has when they've not known Christ and then maybe uh, comes to faith quite suddenly and has that experience where they're converted. And, and that's a great thing. You've seen it happen in people. Um, but, uh, but for myself, um, because I was baptized in the faith and had a Christian family along the way, um, you know, I never had that kind of moment where I worked cognizantly. I went from not knowing Christ to like understanding who he was. It's just always been there. So I think over time for, for someone who's been in the faith, that sort of transformation, as opposed to it being nothing to everything, it's sort of over time you grow and evolve in your faith. And you really have to kind of look back to understand how you've been transformed. You're sort of transformed on a daily basis, little by little, incrementally. Um, and so uh, and, and so we have sort of this ongoing sort of transformation, and that's how I feel my life has been. Um, and depending on where you are in your life or what season that you're in, you know, that transformation can be very small and incremental. Um, for example, daily prayer and decisions that you're making that may be small. Or it could be a season in your life where you're struggling. And so maybe, you know, you're on this path, but you sort of fall away or miss God's presence, um, but then come back to him. So, you know, the, the line is never straight. It's always kind of up and down. But the, but the tendency, you know, if you stay in the word and stay surrounded by people that, that love you and are in his word, it, the tendency sense, tends to be up and transforming your life into, into Christ's image over, over time. Decisions that uh, have happened through my life about for example, where I'm going to work and what I'm going to do. Um, those, those have been points in my path that I've definitely prayed about and God has, has made something happen. Um, so, I mean, I probably, probably, the, probably the biggest one, if I go back, was um, as I graduated from college, didn't know what I wanted to do, um, had a degree in architecture, but didn't want to go to architecture school right away. I made a last minute decision to uh, put in my application to join a program called Princeton in Asia. Just go go to Japan um, at a moment's notice. And uh, yeah, after praying a little bit about it, and then, you know, God sort of directed my path that way. And of course, I ended up meeting my wife in Japan and, and learning a lot about the culture there. And that influenced everything in my life from that point out. Um, but then the points in my life as I thought about, you know, what to do next, um, usually job decisions and thinking about those um, and praying about them. And, and the prayer isn't always, God, you know, tell me exactly what you want me to do, but it's more about keep my eyes open to the things that you're showing me and uh, allow me to understand when I'm seeing a, a pathway or a door that you're opening. Um, so, so those decisions about some of the, uh, the jobs that I've had, and very recently um, I had a career change and a, and a life change with a, with a job decision. Um, and sometimes it's about show me the path that you're asking me to walk. And other times it's like, um, hey, help me accept something that's going on here that maybe I wouldn't have chosen for myself. And in that moment, finding uh, another path that you have for me. Um, one, one specific example that you and I talked about was um, actually something that was complicated. I was thinking about a job opportunity as this whole pandemic started, actually right before it started. And I had the opportunity to be in a classroom with Pastor Matt, and we were talking about um, praying scripture and using that as a way to help guide uh, guide your steps. And I literally had a moment where we were praying through a, a passage of scripture, Psalm 39, and um, I knew in that moment exactly what I needed to do. I was faced with a job decision between two jobs, and I it just came to me like that as we were praying through that I knew the decision that I needed to make between these two jobs. And I just thank God for that clarity. Now, interestingly enough, uh, that was, I think, in the middle of February, the job was supposed to start April 1st, and because of the pandemic, that job never actually happened. But another job opened up um, about that same week, um, very much in a similar sort of direction. And I realized now, at first I thought, 
you know, God, why show me this path when you're just going to close the door? And when I thought a little bit more about it, what he was really showing me was the reason I made that decision. I understood the, the reason for making the decision, why I wanted to choose one path or another. And as I evaluated other opportunities later, that same sort of clarity about the purpose, the kind of job I wanted, what, what path was he asking me to take, applied to the next thing that I, that I uh, found. So, um, so even when the path isn't always exactly clear, if you keep yourself open and you keep praying, um, you'll, you'll find the path, you'll find the door. It's this total freedom uh, to, to live the life that God has called you to live. Anything that might get in the way, you know that when you pray, you can just sort of give that up. And that gives you freedom to, to live your life in a, in a way that is not bound by your, your, your shortcomings, uh, the things that you can't do or that you don't think you're good at. Um, it just allows you to, to, to be free to live God's life.